Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a deployment in Revit 2012 um, with Family Browser 2012. So I've got a project open here, I've got Family Browser that has got absolutely no groups, tabs or anything. So um, the first thing we need to do is I'm going to create a couple of groups. So I'm going to go add a group and I'm going to put the group on my server on the network. Now the group file should always be placed in a a folder that all your users can see so I'm going to put it in deployment test groups and I'm going to call it design so everyone throughout the firm can see this folder I'm going to add another group back in the server shared docs Deployment test groups, and we'll call this documentation. So I've created two groups, I've now got them available in the drop down here. I'm going to go back to design, and the groups are lo um, located in a shared directory. Okay, next thing I need to do is add a tab, so I'm going to go add, add a directory, and I'm going to go onto my network and find a directory that have got families and shared folders. Once again the families need to be in a folder that is shared to everyone as well. So back in shared docs, uh, CA families and I'm going to go design. I know there's some subfolders in there. Okay so that's now created the um, my design tabs. I'm now going to go to documentation and I'll add some tabs to that. Once again I'm going to go add a directory and I will go to the same place as before but documentation go OK and it's now added documentation so I can now flip between them. So obviously you would um, create more groups, it's totally set up your groups and tabs and now what that's done is set it up locally so to share these groups and tabs we need to make a collection of groups so what we're going to do is go to BIM management and go create collection from local groups and I'm going to put this also this collection file in a folder that is seen by everyone so and I'm going to call it default collection It's telling me it's created that. Okay, so now I've created a collection that can be shared to other users. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove this current collection, which I can't, which is fine. It's just I, I don't want any collections in here. I'm going to strip this right back. I'm going to go to group options and remove the current group because it's a local group. I don't want any local groups in here. I want to remove this current group as well. So now we've got family browser back to the bare bones, absolutely nothing. I'm going to move my mouse over the vertical strip, go to collection options, and I want to load in that collection which was in deployment test collections. Now this is what the end user's um, tool palette is going to be like. It's loading in the collection, uh, which is a collection of different groups. So now we're set up, um, it's looking at a collection on a server, which is looking at groups on the server, which is all shared, which is looking at families on the uh, shared folders and on the server. So now we're ready to create a deployment of this. So I'm going to right mouse click, go to settings, uh, no BIM management, create deployment. And I'm going to also put this on my network in a shared location that everyone can see, obviously. Shared docs. Deployment test. I want to put it in deployment test. Go OK. It's going to ask for the site activation key. Now I'm just going to pause this for a while while I go and grab that. OK, I've got my um, activation key in there. It's telling me it's created the deployment and I'm going to go close. Now if I drag my um, deployment test folder over here. We've got some um, groups set up here. We've got 
collection and we've got deployment 2012 with the required folders. I've also copied and pasted into here the Family Browser Setup EXE, which the, you have to use the latest one from our website for this. Um, so jump on the website and grab that. And it has to be above the deployment 2012 folder for this to work as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close out a Revit and to test this I'm going to remove family browser altogether. I'm just going to select it here and delete that folder. I'm also going to go to my documents and delete this folder here and I'll go to program data and delete the add-in as well. there. So now I've got a fresh, um, actually I'll deregister this computer as well from Family Browser. All this is doing is unregistering my computer for Family Browser. Okay, so now I've got a totally clean um, computer without Family Browser on it. Now, to run the deployment, we can go to um, to our network, to server, to um, double click on on here, and it will start up um, the deployment and copy the folders into the correct place and register the computer for Family Browser. I'm not going to do that on this case. I'm going to run it silently. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to run um, a script to the server deployment test Family Browser 2012 EXE and then forward slash s and that will um, make it run silently and install everything. So if I now go OK, it's running Family Browser and installed it and registered this computer. So you can make a, a script to run that automatically when your users log in. So now to test this, I'm going to run Revit. And what should happen is it will recognize that Family Browser has been activated. It will also pre-populate the Family Browser with the company's groups and tabs. Okay, open a file. And there goes Family Browser pre-populated. If I go to the Add-ins tab, it's registered. It's only got the one icon there. We've got all the all the tabs now available and the two groups. So that is how you create a deployment for Revit 2012 using Family Browser.